Hello guys, good day. This is Anne of Reinforce McLove, your fellow positive reinforcer. Today we are going to talk about how multitasking harms your mental clarity. Now the promise of multitasking or task switching, wherein we rapidly shift attention from one task to another, is efficiency. In other words, we can finish different tasks at the same time. Switching and switching and, you know, the expectation of that is... You know, we can finish loads of objectives. We can nail down different tasks. Although we can do this to non-complex things to do, but to the complex one, it is devastating to our brain. Our human brain is not designed to focus on more than one complex task at a time. Instead, it can only concentrate on one task, one single task. And when we try to multitask, the brain must constantly switch between tasks. Now, this is what happens when we multitask. Now, every time the brain switches tasks, it has to reorient itself to the new task. And whenever we reorient ourselves to a new task and another task, and then we have to go back to the old task, our brain is taxing us by consuming cognitive resource, energy, and time. That is why when we keep shifting from you know, task to task, the result of that will be prolonged. Prolonged task completion plus increase of mental energy requirement for us to finish a whole bunch of different tasks. And you're not going to be happy with it. Another thing is that whenever we switch task you know one task to another and then another one and then we have to go back to the old task it decreases our focus and attention we only can able to absorb fragments of attention you know attention to each task on hand now as a result to that we don't have deep connection to what we are doing we don't have deep focus on the tasks that we are currently doing because we are thinking about the other stuff that is ongoing right now. We have task fragment attention. And since we don't understand really what we are doing, and that will result to errors. We have high probability to make, to make mistakes whenever we have no or less connection to what we are doing. Now, another thing, when we keep switching from one task to another and then another task, and then we have to go back to the old task, and then we, we're thinking about the, you know, the, the second task that we have to, we have to come back while we're doing what we're currently doing. So it's, it's a hustle. And as I've said before, since our brain is taxing us to do that, when you, when we switch tasks frequently, our brain also has less capacity to store and process new information, leading us to forgetfulness and confusion. That is why we are prone to errors when we multitask. Our brain struggles to make, to concentrate. And when we struggle to concentrate, our creative thinking is compromised. Since our brain is taxing us whenever we shift from one task to another and then to another while thinking about the previous task and the first task that we did, which is ongoing at one time, we have to deal with the long-term mental health consequences of multitasking. The number one we have to face is chronic stress. If we don't cut it off, if we continue doing multitasking in the long run, in long term, so we have to deal with burnout and anxiety because whenever we, have, whenever we think about one thing and then another thing and then another thing that is go ongoing right now, our stress level also increases as the brain is constantly pressured to accomplish multiple tasks. We want to finish it. It's just that we have less connection. We are confused. We are, we, we're prone to make errors. We don't have absolute constant, uh, concentration 
on what we are doing. We are not deeply connected on what we are doing, but we want to finish it. That's why we are pressured not to make mistakes, and we are pressured to finish it. And that leads to stress and burnout at the end of the day. And when we are burnout, we feel mental fatigue. Over time, as we multitask and we're not happy about what we're doing, we don't even understand it, this can l- diminish our cognitive performance, making it harder for us to concentrate over time, even in a single task, when we go back to a single tasking again. And since it will take us longer time to finish with all our cognitive workload in our head, since we have to reorient ourselves from, you know, from this task and then another task and then go back to the, the previous task, think about the first task that we did. Look, there's no productivity in it. While multitasking might temporarily give you an illusion of productivity over time, it actually reduces your overall productivity due to increased likelihood of mistakes. Now we have to go back again to the first one. To the, to, the, to the beginning because we made a mistake. We have to do it again. And we have to rework the task because we made a mistake. And that absolutely leads to mental exhaustion. That you don't want to do it anymore. You're not happy about your, your, your output while you're still thinking about the second task that you started a while ago. There's no connection in it. Now, think about multitasking again. It's a myth. Although it promises us with increased efficiency and even some employers would love that if you can able to multitask. Absolutely. Because they want a good output. They want to increase sales or whatever the mission they, they want to achieve. They love to have multitasking, you know, employees who can able to multitask. But it could be devastating in the end. Still, the reality is that multitasking fragments focus, diminishes the quality of work, and uh, it even exhausts the mind. The human brain is optimized. We are optimized for deep focus work. And trying to multitask ultimately leads to lower productivity and a decline in mental well-being. Now, Embracing single tasking, one task at a time, finish it and then start another one and then finish it, start another one. Focusing on single tasking can lead to a better work outcomes and healthier mind. So it's important to know to really look after ourselves. Well, there could be some stuff which can be multitask, stuff which are less important, which which doesn't require our brain, thinking brain. But you have to really evaluate closely and carefully which tasks are those. But overall, multitasking is bad for you. So if you ever love this episode today, you can follow me in Facebook, YouTube, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, as well as in the Amazon Podcast. This is Anne, by the way, of Reinforce Me Club your fellow positive reinforcer, Reinforce Me Club. I do appreciate your time and have a lovely day ahead. Thank you.